So this is the new trellis that we put in um, for the um, passion fruit. The previous one's too low. Um, Thai basil, and I put in uh, and these are broccoli. It's a broccoli and a big plant I mean mint. Eight plants loaded with fruits everywhere. It's just one plant and it's producing we've got probably like 10 15 pounds of eggplants from there. We got a nine ch Chinese cabbage that's I planted together like there. I forget what these are. Oh, um, a different type of cabbage. Those are Chinese cabbage, those two there. And then these are the, uh, you know, the uh, Irish cabbage or whatever they do. English cabbage. The cucumbers are doing still good. Season almost ending for cucumbers. And you see, they still have cucumbers right there. And they're kind of growing. And they're growing. They're barely growing there. You know, of course, I'm built. Our uh, Thai chili is doing really good there. Putting up plants crazy. These I would recommend. These are uh, Italian basil. Oh my god, you buy one, you plant it, and it's good enough to eat. If you have a small family, that's all you need is one. A bigger family, maybe four people, maybe buy get two. Uh, I'm ready to take out the, that tomatoes plant. And next year we're not gonna do the determinate. Determinate. We're gonna do the determinate. Uh, big beef or big. Uh, I love tomato variety. Uh, more mint. And then we move the uh, blackberry to a different spot. Because this is where we walk in to turn to our sprinkler. More passion fruit vine growing there. Two black blueberries. Oh. Cantaloupe. This is the white honeydew cantaloupe that we put the seeds out. This is the new and improved uh, trellis for the uh, dragon fruit. Um, so what I'm going to do is they'll start coming up there and then <clears throat> they'll droop over. Little baby tiny so probably from the seeds. More cantaloupe, and this is the update of our uh, papaya tree. So that one is gone. It's trying to come back. There's a little uh, new growth on there, so hopefully it'll come back. <clears throat> but I put more uh, fertilizer in there. But that one though, that one and this one's doing well. Uh, this is our uh, nectarine, doing well as always. This is our uh, excess of tomatoes. We didn't know what to do with some put on the plants. More cantaloupe, honeydews, uh, pineapple papaya, a oh, pineapple guava is doing good. Some new growth. Cantaloupe, um, lime tree is doing good, very green. Just water this morning. Uh, the spring ready. Now this is our cherry blossom. I mean, uh, cherry uh, tree. And all this has got been like three, two foot of new growth. So, uh, kumquat tree again, it's loaded with fruits. Kumquat trees get four seasons of fruits. This is where we uh, move the uh, blackberry to. It's growing like crazy. The neighbors are uh, apricot tree. It's got like a nectarine in it. We have sugar cane over there. Uh, with the pomegranate. Uh, this is our pomegranate, loaded with fruits. Very small, getting big. There you go. Um, and then just, uh, we plant these now for fruits. It's kind of late in the season, but mainly this is for the, the ground cover. This is our uh, navel orange. New growth shoot coming out right there. Persimmons. Still growing. 
That's our uh, jujube tree there. That's new, new fruit there already. You can see that. But uh, yeah, that was a late, late fruit set. But we harvested that already. We trimmed it back. If you guys saw the previous video, so I droopy everywhere, so I trimmed it up high. Um, I mean, but then our uh, fig plant's coming back. See, all this is new growth. I'm so happy. I was afraid that was going to die or something, but it's coming back. And of course, I'm weeping mulberry. Very beautiful tree. I just recently trimmed it, so make sure that doesn't touch the ground. And then we haven't had any grapes for this year. So we have uh, two sets of uh, white and red grapes here. Um, no fruits yet. Oh, yeah. so next year, hopefully, they'll have fruits. And the way I did is I espaniered it, so grew it against the air. Uh, Along the fence there, I might just extend that up, like the way I did the trellis for the uh, uh, passion fruit. Of course, uh, this is the um, aloe vera. We only had one, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight new pups that are coming out right there. No small ones, lots of people down there. These are the. Uh, Edible herbs you make into a soup or stir fry. And these are uh, mandarin orange, it's doing really good. Gets lots of water. It's automatic sprinkler and it waters it. Alright, I think that's it. I'll give you another shot of the. Uh, Passion fruit vine. Yeah. yeah, that's those two metal poles. I zip tie them together. See, one zip tie, two, three, and they went all the way up. And I put fishing line on there. Very cheap and affordable to uh, to do it that way. But. Uh, Get these in. There you go. So, it's gonna start growing now. Alright, guys.